Hello, my lovely, beautiful soul. Welcome to you guys. Timeless pick a card. For this pick a card, we are going to take a look what you need to know when it comes to the next big thing that is coming your way. But before we do that, let me introduce myself. My name is Noraima from the Phoenix Star. If you are new to the channel, hi, welcome. I'm thankful you found me. If you like the vibration, don't forget then to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time i post a video and if you are already part of the fam the growing tribe hey love thank for that you back again fam so yeah we are going to take a look what is the next big Thing, the next big energy that is coming your way i don't know why but i felt drawn to normally i will have the topic and then the cards but this time i felt drawn to first all the cards and stuff that i'm gonna use and then i was like but what's the reading though what's the reading so i heard the next big thing so the next big thing or big energy that is coming your way and it is something that is close to you so you can expect it very soon that being said let me introduce you to the piles that you have for the first pile we have the panther spirit for the second pile we have the cobra for the third pile we have the unicorn now i am going to put some um, crystal right now for you guys so for your crystal for the first pile for the panther spirit we have the um, carnelian this is your crystal and then for the second pile the cobra we have the desert rose this is then your crystal and for the third pile for the unicorn we have the brown fluoride this is then your crystal so i will give you guys 30 seconds to breathe in breathe out choose your pile you may go with more than one pile if you feel drawn to more than one there is no wrong or right way to do this just go with what your intuition is pulling you towards or which animal you be like that's my animal in that kind of way you have a connection with certain animal then you go with that one but i will give you guys 30 seconds as i said you will hear three high pitch notes just to oomph you up and timestamps are down below and i will see you at the pal or pals that you have chosen so my lovely beautiful power one and let's take a look at you guys you guys have chosen the panther spirit together with the carnelian crystal let's take a look um for you guys we will see i will take a look at this later on but first let's get started with some tarot let's see what is the next big thing that is coming your way what can you expect what is the next big thing for you guys my lovely beautiful power one i ask my guides your guides all that has exactly three okay has the best interest for us harm to none six of cups underneath the deck um to let us know what it is that is coming your way you have the knight of um cups in reverse together with the seven of pentacles in reverse and then you also have the tower in reverse your cards definitely also felt kind of a weird may i say just suddenly so i'm getting like this is something that is going to happen suddenly hmm it's giving me the energy of it had already happened this this situation had already happened that something wasn't working out somebody it is a person though somebody didn't bring 
the love offer that you wanted or was expecting or the fruitfulness of things that you were expecting. It's like you are going to find out that this person or this promise of this person is kind of like not coming. That's the next big thing. I didn't say that it will be good news though, but we can, we are going to yet still see. Your cards are falling very weird, y'all. We are going to see what more we need to know about this situation. Let me get one of these. I do think this person has kind of like leads you guys on, is what I'm getting. You have the panther and the crocodile. Believe me, I was looking at this crocodile before I was shuffling. I was looking at it. Hmm. You know what this situation is? You are waiting for them or they are waiting for you but they don't have whatever this is they are kind of like making you wait making you wait but they don't know they are underestimating you looking at the black uh, at the panther it's giving me and the crocodile it's giving me they are underestimating you you know what, what kind of energy I'm feeling? Like if I, I, like I'm putting a stove totally down so that it will not boil up. So what I'm getting with that is that this situation or this person um, is kind of like keeping you on a low fire so that it is yet still warm, but it will not boil over but it will evaporate on its own. So it's giving me the energy. This for some of you, this might to do with, um, with, um, it might be to do with job or with, a, with, with something of uh, other people. There is something of a person or a situation or a place that is kind of like, oh, I will keep you on the low. You know, because if you cook something too long because i'm getting a soup y'all if you cook it too long it will evaporate and then there is no water left so there is no emotions no feeling nothing you know so that is what i'm getting from this situation right here that they are keeping you on a low fire just for you to stay warm but not be angry or um uh, taking action or um, confronting them it's like you know just cozy for now for you for the time being and keep in mind this is a collective reading so i don't know where this fits in your life but we will take a look at it with the est uh, with the astrology dice but you can, um, because this isn't a, a personal reading, you, you have to use your own discernment and put it in your life where you think that sounds familiar kind of a situation. So um, you have rest. You see, this person, this situation is continue um, giving you calm down cleanse and ghosts i don't know if do you have somebody in your life that's or a situation in your life that is kind of like um keeping you content for the time being look it's 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 hmm it needs to go is what you guys your spiritual team is saying it needs to go this person this situation it needs to move. It needs to move out of your life. And, and that is why I'm getting that they are underestimating you. Because they think that if they continue doing that, you will not, it's not obvious. It's not obvious what they are attending to do. You know, so if, if I just, it's like, 
you are yet still warm so um so you there is nothing to complain about a kind of a situation you will even feel bad if you complain is what i'm getting because they are keeping you warm you are getting something so so it's giving me that kind of energy so it it's making you feel bad but yet they are actually kind of like taking from you where you don't even know you don't even see it because slow and steady you are evaporating it's very it's 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 tiresome but you cannot you cannot complain you know what this is giving me like you know when somebody is giving you a amount of money and it's like um they will tell you like you need to um kind of like um be happy that you have that money because you can also not have that money um like the government give you a kind of amount of money and you cannot complain about it because they are giving it to you for free you know but it's kind of like hold up they are actually having an agenda or something i don't know it's very strange there is something I thought this was going to be a great reading, y'all. Yeah? But, but it's kind of a giving me a, a, a very different energy. So you have the journey and property, uh, property. For some of you, this situation is keeping you poor. Until you evaporate, as I said government, you know. But, but it's time for you to move. It's time for you to go. But it's kind of like mentally keeping you stuck or mentally you are um, kind of like think you need them or something. And this doesn't have to be about money. It can also be a person that is giving you uh, not enough love, uh, not, not enough where you will remain hungry, you know, lustful. But they're giving you just a little so you remain lost for. But yet so you not to go. You guys, your spiritual team is saying, honey, we need to go. We need to go. Because this situation right here, it doesn't bring you nothing. It, it, it doesn't bring you nothing fruitful. The ground is, it's, it needs to go. We need to start new. We need to start fresh. And you have the power. That is why they're keeping you stuck. Because looking at the panther and the crocodile, you know the jungle better than anyone. You know the water. You know, and people, the crocodile stays on the riverside, yo. And everything that has to cross or come to drink from the water can be a food to them. You know, so it's like, I'll wait. Oh, wait, I know you guys need water. I know you guys need water. I know you guys will come here and drink from my river. And that's the thing. That's the thing also. It can be also that this is you, but this is that person that is keeping you on the bay, like holding you tight because they'll be like, you thirsty. And I got, I, and I'm at the water or I got the water. Let's see, where in your life is this situation happening? Your first house, that's you guys. We have the first house. Together with Aquarius. And also Neptune. Uh, Uranus, my bad. Also Uranus. The tower is always give, giving me Uranus. Um... What I'm getting for you guys, this has to do with you yourself personally. That you need, you are holding on too tight on something or situation that is kind of like holding you on a low temperature just for them to yet still enjoy your emotions, your feeling, your energy. But you guys, your spiritual team is saying like, wake up. There is something that's going to change drastically, suddenly for you and that will cleanse out this situation so that you can move but you need to first come to realize what it is and if it suddenly disappeared or suddenly like break down looking at the tower like don't be shocked it's then time for you to take action 
because you guys your spiritual team will want to break this um, situation down so you can start clean once again fresh once again not um, being stuck on somebody or that you have to ask permission or that you need to be careful how you live or how, when you are thirsty and you want to drink you know in that kind of a way like it's gonna kind of awaken uh, the power within you so that you know hey i do what i want i am the the king of my of uh, the jungle and not that i have to ask permission on somebody else how i want to live or how i want to do life so here we have um nine dice and i will only take three and then we will take a look what you guys your spiritual team wants to know more Oh, somebody's going to eat y'all. <laughs> uh, we have um, a winner's cup. Together with a plate and a fork and a knife. So somebody's going to eat. And then you also have the bicycle. Okay, my love. So in this situation right here, you are going to come out of it as the winner. Is what you guys, your spiritual team is saying. Like you will, you will, you will have it good. As I said, somebody's going to eat. Like you will be good. Like the crocodile, if you were waiting for your food, you know, it's coming. Or if somebody was waiting for you, honey, you will come as a winner. Like if these two have to fight, you will win. Okay, and you chosen the panther, so you are the panther, so you will win. Even if the if you had to ask permission in the beginning, thinking you you cannot do it, you know, every time you wanna have something to drink or something, you know, it's like no, honey, you can't do it. This is you, all you. Only thing you guys, your spiritual team is saying, looking at the bicycle, is have the balance because you need to yet still continue moving. Okay, because the moment you stop pedaling on a bicycle it will be like will fall down so your guys your spiritual team is saying if something shocking looking at the tower and uranus something shocking happen you can handle this continue having your balance continue moving forward looking at a journey card and slow and steady this isn't a race car it's a it's a bicycle so you need to pedal you need to do the 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 the, the continuous okay it's not like depending on a motor to bring you somewhere no you are the drive you are the motor that is why you have the first house the first house is you i am so you guys your spiritual team is saying don't think that another person will be your holy savior in this situation no this is all you you need to take action you need to move forward you need to cleanse away from that energy and if you feel tired because the bicycles honey I live in the Netherlands, okay? I know about bicycles. <laughs> you can get tired, okay? So rest also. It isn't like it, it's it's a marathon, okay? It's a marathon. But whatever you do, like really looking at the um, Aquarius is Saturn ruled, is uh, also Uranus, you know? So these two go beautifully together. It's like really um, um, go continue learn the lesson there is something to do with the internet also i don't know why but aquarius always giving me the internet if you have asked question look up on the internet i don't know there is something with the internet and humanitarian so if you want to do humanitarian work or you need in help search online there are people that can help you out you will eat you will have victory. You will come out of as a winner. Some of you, if you are in a race or something, you are going to do a marathon, a bicycle thingy. I don't know how it's called, y'all. <laughs> like, eat well, rest well, take care of your body. 
because honey we cannot say we're gonna do something and we do not plant the seed correctly we're not working towards the thing that we want to go like uh, tour de france or something you know so <laughs> really uh, begin to take action and work for it if you want it you know that's certain also so i do hope i could have helped you guys my lovely beautiful pal one with what is the unexpected big next big thing coming your way um if you haven't chosen another pal i will see you guys on another reading of mine good luck and don't forget to continue moving forward okay continue moving forward once this suddenly shocking thing comes in you can do it okay now i'll see you guys on another reading of mine or in another pal bye bye so my lovely beautiful pal two you guys have chosen the cobra um spirit animal and or your rose uh, desert rose crystal so this is then your reading let me put this one here we are going to start with your tarot first so let's take a look let's see for good or for harm to none i ask my guides your guides all that has the best interest for us to let us know what is the back next big thing coming your way my lovely beautiful pal two okay that's one. Let's see for the next big thing. One more, please. For about two, the next big thing. Hmm. It's a That's too much. You ain't doing that. Mm mm. <laughs> I just wanted to say it's a specific one, but let's see. One more, please. I do not pick my card, so have patience with me. Guess what? This isn't it neither. It's too much. You guys be like, girl, just pick the card, y'all. <laughs> no, honey. No. There you go. <laughs> underneath the deck we have the star so um you have the ace of wands together with the emperor in reverse together with the eight of um, wands upright the next big thing coming your way is something of passion action passion action fire 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 <laughs> this is really all fire so it's like take action go in that kind of a way you don't know this situation this situation is a structure um this situation is unknown to you yet some of you perhaps um, will get a message and with that message you can then take action and go for your passion um what i'm getting with that is like see it like this you have always had the idea like if i have this I'll, if i have this money or if i have this uh, um um this chance you know i will then go do that and that so the 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 action you could not take because you don't have it but whatever you want is coming and it's coming fast and then you guys your spiritual team can say is saying like then you can take action on that foundation that, that you want on that thing that you the drive the passion um it has something to do with um with taking action knowing who you are because um the emperor is uh, aries and it is the i am card so it's the it's really something of you you know you you know um this is who i am kind of energy is what is giving me so for your spirit animal as you know we have the cobra together with the lamp together with the mud okay now once this situation come here come in your guys your spiritual team is saying like keep it light and be aware that you will not um 
be burned by the wrong things because the moth always want to fly to the sun and will always is a night uh, um it's like it's a night animal it doesn't live in the daylight when the sun is shining but yet it seems to be drawn to the light every time it is dark so it's giving me like be careful that you will not be fooled by the fake lights okay you are yet still fresh in this um looking at the at the lamp you know you are fresh you are innocent in this situation you don't even know like it's it's like oh i want to buy a new house you know you are not or uh, i want to have a car you have not been in this position in your life yet so now you're going to become somebody that can say i'm a homeowner or somebody that can say like oh i have a business you know and the lessons is yet things that needs to unfold for you so you guys your spiritual team is warning you with that so continue listen to your spiritual team you guys and keep your eyes very focused on what you want so that you can sense and feel because the cobra you know what's the most beautiful thing of the cobra is people think like the cobra can like it's mesmerizing you it it looks in your eye and you'll be like going with it and because it's kind of like I don't know how to explain it, but it has a way of, uh, um, how do you call it? English, not my first, not my second, y'all. To kind of like draw you in, you know, it's giving me that kind of energy. It's the same with the moth. You know, so you need to watch out, but yet, yet the cobra is something very uh, spiritual, in that sense the lamp also the only thing that here is the problem is that when you go when you want to be um, go to the light not to the light as in um it more as in don't let your ego ru uh, rule the show or don't don't be fooled by the fake sun you know the sun is your ego is your pride so really watch out for that is what you guys your spiritual team is saying because something is going to happen it's going to happen pretty fast don't don't be fooled by whatever people is putting in your face ask the correct question yes you wanted it to um buy a house buy a car yes you wanted all of that and that is coming but you need to like if you don't know something, invest in the information of it. Don't just go with, with whatever people are saying, you know, because it's your first rodeo, but we ain't stupid though, you know, in that kind of a way. So you have um, disruption together with ideation. I like this because as the eight of uh, wands coming in unsurprisingly, as we are doing a reading, what is coming, uh, what's next, what's the next big thing coming in very soon that you expect or do not expect, it, this is how it's going to happen. You are just doing yourself, living life, you know, and it's suddenly coming in. It's same way with the eight of uh, wands. So whatever idea that you have, as I was saying with the emperor and the ace of wands, you can now go ahead, do it. But but it's going to change your path. So whatever you were doing now, whatever you are doing now, so whatever ever rhythm you have, I wake up, I do this, I do that. Like this is a straight line. As you look at the dis disruption, this is a straight line. If somebody suddenly bring you a, a million dollar, for example, your life has changed, right? This straight line you can pretend to yet still do the same, but you are not the same. You are now a millionaire. So that straight line had defined you because it's kind of like, oh, now I'm a millionaire. So you can continue going on that straight line, but you have now a million bag on you. So you will have a million problems also. A million people coming at you and say, oh, do you have this or do you have that? Can I have this? Can I have that? 
So what you thought was regular is now becoming something extra or something of a blessing, depending how you handle it. That is why you need to watch out for this one. Don't be too, too, too innocent in it neither, you know? So it's, it's like, it's like that. Like it, let's just scrap the million dollar and make something easy out of it. You want a car. Okay. The whole time you were going by bus, by bike, by, by train, by whatever have you. And now you have a car, but the uh, people are going to ask you, Oh, can you, can I get a ride with you? Can you do this? Can I lo lo loan your car? You know, can you drive me there and there? So there is a difference in, 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 in who you are. So don't act as if, um, as if nothing, nothing is changing. So you have a message once again, together with lovers. Okay. For some of you, that <laughs> don't act as if it, <laughs> as if you are single. Okay. You have message and lovers. The eight of, the eight of wands is talking about the message. And the emperor can be indeed a very manly man, <laughs> a very manly man or a woman. You know, it's a masculine energy. It's a masculine energy. This person might have think a lot how to write to you, what to say to you. Somebody might give you a love offers coming in, something of passion. Something of passion, as I said, suddenly out of nowhere. Maybe you have, you already have an idea who that person is. Let's take a look, but don't be blind by it though. Suddenly coming in, blinding you, forget about, you know, when people fall in love, they forget about certain things in their life. Like, do you forget about yourself because you are in love and you will constantly like uh, be focused on that person? Honey, oh, we all been through that. You know, <laughs> it's kind of like you forget, you forget, you see, you see different. So you be like, oh, it's, it's pulling me in, Mr. M Miss Morais, digmatize. <laughs> Like, watch out for that, okay? Don't don't lose yourself in this one. Now, let's see. Where is this all happening for you? Oh, you guys are already friends? Guess you guys are already friends. You have Mercury. This is Mercury, if it focused. Together with the 11th house. This is friends and community. And Leo, passionately hot, honey. This person might be a Leo, a Gemini, um, um, a Virgo, Aquarius, Aries. This person, you guys already, some of you are already friends with this person or you are in their community is what I'm getting. With this situation right here. As I said, some of you will get a car. Looking at Mercury is a car. Some of you will be famous. Looking at Leo, it is a famous. So being in the limelight. But as I said, watch out for this situation right here, okay? So you are in the limelight. Some of you maybe do something online. You will get lots of messages for whatever you do. Kind of like an idea or communication. Because the lovers can be also just partnering with people in that kind of a way. Because these right here, they are opposite of each other. The 11th house and the 5th house, the Leo is the opposite. And the 11th house is um, ruled by um, um, Aquarius. And Aquarius ruled um, also the internet. Uh, so looking at Mercury, there is messaging happening over the internet so you may have um, uh, a dm or a whatsapp whatever that it is it's happening it's something of passion because leo is the, the the fifth house is passion is children so maybe the father of your child will or the father 
of your future children. I don't know, but this is the daddy and that is, that is the children <laughs> because the emperor is the daddy in, in tarot. So you guys might, this is a friendship that already happened. This person for some of you um, has a great foundation, has a great community um, in that kind of a way. Honey, but watch out that you um, don't be blindsided, y'all. Digmatize, digmatize. <laughs> and not only that, if this is about your craft, because Leo is also the ruler of your craft, there is some kind of a lock coming in. Some kind of a lock. People are mesmerized by what you do or something like that with whatever idea you have of passion. As I said, it's like the right time to do what you want kind of a way. So I have nine, that's one. I have nine dice in here and I will only, uh, let me do it like this. I will only, ooh, I will only make use of three. Let's see what you need to know about this one. You have uh, trees. You can say it as see it as uh, woods together with a campfire. Okay. And then you have a, a doctor thingy so that they can listen to your heart. Ooh, who's want to listen to your heart, y'all? Listen to my heart. <laughs> na, 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 na. <laughs> But yeah, what I'm getting for you guys, this is going to be something very cozy. This is something of nature. It's giving me building, building something from the ground up, you know, because it's giving me wood, wood. And the emperor also built something from the ground up. Whatever heart, wish, dream you have, that's the thing. The idea that you have, you can now go ahead and do it. It is something cozy, something fruitful, abundant, because nature is always fruitful and abundant. Nature, we can find everything in nature. You know, so that is why it's giving me fruitful and abundant. Some of you, this person or this situation loves nature, loves nature, loves camping. This person or situation can be a doctor, you know, loves going outdoors. It's giving me that. This fire is giving me the mod, <laughs> but in a good sentence, you know. So it's giving me that kind of energy. You guys might go camping. Is what I'm getting. With some friends or you might have gone camping. Or you there is something of you being in nature with this person or this situation. Perhaps you are going to live... Um, in the countryside, you know, not in the city, but more in, in where, is it countryside, how they call it? Where there is more nature instead of uh, traffic and stuff. Not the city side, is what I'm getting for some of you. There is lots of fire. This person might be an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Fire is totally in your guys' reading. Looking at the mud also. Very important, the fire. The drive, the passion. So go with that idea that you have. Build that thing that you want. Communicate with the right people. People will hear it. Whatever your heart desire is, people want to hear it. You will find the right communication for some of you. But you need to communicate and put yourself in the limelight. Put yourself out there. And if you are already doing that, you will see that lots of people, uh, your community will suddenly come towards you and you will feel like the emperor of what you thought you didn't have will now be turned around. You will have it. All of that. And for some of you, that's also love. So just go ahead and do it.
So my lovely, beautiful uh, pal um, too. I do hope I've could have helped you with what is coming. Well, what next big thing is coming your way? If you haven't chosen another pal, I will see you then in another reading of mine. Bye bye. So my lovely, beautiful pal three, you guys have chosen and the unicorn uh, spirit animal together with the brown fluoride. So this is then your reading. I will put this one right here. We are first going to take a look at uh, your tarot. Let's see what is the next big thing. Okay, we 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 okay, we there. <laughs> what is the next big thing coming your way? Underneath the deck, we have the moon. So you have five of swords, the queen of wands, together with the two of cups in reverse. Hmm. You guys been through some, huh? But you are going to win. <laughs> you are going to win. They tried it, y'all. They tried it. But your passion, your drive, uh, the knowing who you are is what I'm getting. Your, you know, <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm not going to say that. It's giving me the energy. Okay, back in the day when I was a teenager, I don't even know why it had happened. I don't even know. Only thing I remember is was it was that I was in a fight with a, a, a very beautiful Somali girl. And um, I don't know, do you guys say Somali? Because here in the Netherlands, they say Somali, Somalis or Somalia. Um, but, but... Yeah, that person just came to our school and I don't know even why that started. I don't know. But you know, <laughs> that is one thing about black people, y'all. Black people know we can handle it, but we forget sometimes. <laughs> Black people against black people and you don't know where that black people come from. That person came from a war zone and you think you can handle that? <laughs> I don't know why. That girl just hit me once and I was done. <laughs> that girl had to hit me just once and I thought my nose broke. <laughs> so that is what I'm getting with this. <laughs> I'm getting like, you know, they think they all ish until they had to do some. And then it's like, you didn't expect that, huh? You didn't, you didn't check to go do the background stuff to go check if it's correct. Do I have the, 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 the weak black person? <laughs> like where do she comes from <laughs> or he, she, they eat. I don't know why I had to tell you guys that, but that's something I was very, 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 very young. I, I do not condole violence. Absolutely not. And I don't even know how it had started because, you know, sometimes you find yourself in something and it's like, what, why am I here? You know, and I'm, I was like, mm, I'm here. I'm not queer, but I can beat you up. <laughs> and guess what? I did not. I could not. So <laughs> really do not, do not do it. Listen, if I tell you I was young, I was young. It was really foolish to say like, oh, we adult, let's do that. Child, don't do stupid things. You know, that's that's not cute. But what I'm getting for you is, though, that somebody had kind of like um, underestimated you. So the reason why I had to tell you my story is because they want to shame me once again for something that had happened in my past, 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 past life. <laughs> you know, put some smiles on you guys' face. But hey. Just to let you know, you are going to win. It's only, it's all because of your drive. And what I'm getting for you guys is also because they, you know, when you, you, you kind of like have a kind of a 
energy with you that it's like oh mesmerizing look at her look at him look at he she they eat kind of a way you know what you want and some people might feel intimidated by that um and, and for some of you this might be to do with an ex people might have tried to do mischievous thing towards you guys or towards you because of an ex or something a partnership or something but hey that ain't working for them it ain't working y'all they tried okay we can we cannot okay they they we cannot judge them for the the lack of trying because they they tried y'all they thought they were something they thought they were doing something just let's us applaud applaud them let's applaud them for trying okay so you have the unicorn and together with the fox as your spirit animal now the fox be clever as this fox okay be clever as, as a fox you know the thing is you're different, yeah. You are a different type. And you are a person that is very dedicated. Very dedicated. And do not do mischievous thing. I don't know why you find yourself in this situation. That is why I had to tell you about my story. Because I don't yet, I, yet till today, I don't know why I found myself in that situation. Only thing I know, she just had to smack me once. And, and I realized, don't do that no more. <laughs> you know? <laughs> But back to you, this is the situation you don't, you don't know. I don't know how you guys have come in this, but it's somebody doing mischievous things to you. Maybe a person that said something or something. So, so you guys, your spiritual team is saying, be clever as a fox. We have a kind of a judgment on the fox. So I'm, I'm getting it to say it for you that people might have a kind of a judgment on you because you are unique. You are different. You are flaunting your fetish. You are walking in your power. So they will kind of like make you, you know, we, we, we think the fox is a bad thing. But did you know in this card, they describe the fox and the fox is a beautiful animal, very um, loyal animal to his family and stuff, you know. So hello, he, he, he is just doing the, what he needs to do to provide for his family, you know. But we think like, oh, mischievous as a fox or something like, no, you are doing it for some something, right? But some people cannot handle that. They, they, they just cannot. Is that your problem? No, no, it's not. So let it go. Let those people go because, you know, you... Ooh, <laughs> you have something good coming your way. You have really something good coming your way. So let's see. Ah, I want to give you guys, yes, one more. I, I was like, I miss uh, a card, but I have yet to shuffle another deck. That is why. So guess what? You have three. You have toil, labor together with um sudden wealth and distant horizon beautiful you have worked for this yeah work hard jeopardize a lot as i said like people don't see that you are doing it for something only thing they are seeing is that you think you are all it you know that is what they are seeing. Like, oh, paltry thinking he should they eat is, is the ish. But they don't see what goes behind it all. All the work that you need to do. Why you are doing it. They don't see that. They only see, oh, you got money. You are acting bougie. So money is definitely or luck is definitely coming your way suddenly. As I said what what you can expect that's money going and doing what you want traveling and going and doing but you are not going to do it what that's the reason i had to tell you first about the situation is because your guys your spiritual team don't want you to do it with the people that doesn't want the best for you the partners that ain't great with you 
people that are doing mischievous things, people that are judging you behind your back. I mean, I don't know till today how that happened. Maybe somebody had told that person something and the only thing I know is somebody said to me that she want to fight me. And I was like, okay, <laughs> thinking I'm all that. <laughs> So maybe it's a rumor or something that had went around, maybe for you also, but it's, it has nothing to do with you and the other person. Just like that girl, you know, it had, had nothing to do with us. Maybe, I don't know. We just found ourselves in this situation, you know, but, but whatever. And you know, what's funny, it had happened and we both went our way, like nothing had happened. <laughs> <laughs> like nothing had happened no wrong feelings nothing the next day she even say hi and i say how are you doing you know i don't even know why but that's the thing maybe you don't even know why people are doing mischievous thing while people are judging you but i know why let me tell you why that is you are working hard jeopardizing yourself doing your thing but this queen this queen is not to mess with Look at her. She is flaunting her feathers, doing her, enjoying her passion, being who she is, unique. That's what you are. Category, sexy. Bitch. I'm the star. <laughs> the sexy for, I don't know why, but that's what I'm getting. Like, really. Do you guys hear the song now also, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm getting like really let them let them judge you let them think and don't fight nobody okay don't go fight nobody because that's them putting something on you so don't do that please don't do that we are grown people here y'all we have things to lose <laughs> we don't do that <laughs> we have a lot of things to lose looking at protection underneath the deck like no don't do that I find it very sad, the news that I heard from the girl that was in, in with her friends. <laughs> you cannot say those people are friends, yeah. But mm -mm, no. So you have rejection together with confidence. Honey, if they say no, say thank you, bless. Because where you are going next, you don't need them. So whomever have rejected you, whoever is doing mischievous things towards you, Thank you. Goodbye. I mean, it's a great thing you have shown your face. Like, next. Have that confidence to walk away, whatever or wherever this is in your life. You know, because those people, they are kind of, a, because I don't, every time if I have to tell you a story, I mean, why? Why did I have to tell that story? I don't even, I'm not even proud of that story. Not because she hit me. No, because of how I kind of like was in a, in a situation that, that ain't who I am, you know? So why? You know, I don't like violence. Don't do that. I have something to lose. Yeah, I have a lot to lose. I mean, I don't do that. <laughs> you know? So don't let a person or a situation put you in that. If somebody rejects you, don't go do mischievous thing. Like, no, 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 no. Say thank you, blessed, and move forward with confidence. Do you know why? Because now your luck is coming in. Now you are going to show them, you know... Thank you, because the where I'm going next, you are not supposed to go with me. Now we are going to move big. Think big. <laughs> Let's see, for your astro cards, you know what I'm thinking the whole time? I'm thinking like, did I, did I grab all the cards for the other piles though? I don't know, but you guys are lucky. We have the, the, <laughs> we have the fifth house. You'll be like, Noraima, is this happening often? <laughs> no. <laughs> and then we also have Libra. Together with the South Node. Okay. So, my love, what you guys, your spiritual team is saying, first of all, you are going to be in the limelight. You are going to be in the limelight having great partners, people. For some of you, I must say, 
If you have children with a person that had rejected you, let that person go. If this is an ex-partner, let that person go. That's If that's in the past, it's in the past. Let that person go. You know, looking at the fifth house is what just fun and play and 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 passionately thingy thingy is happening. It was it was a lesson for you. But we looking at the south note, south note is let's move away from the past. Let's go to our north note to, to the future. So we need to go to the future. So let go of everything that was done in the past. Everything, every situation that you thought or people have put upon you, every rejection that you had, let it go. Let me tell you something. If you suddenly find yourself in wealth or in, in the spotlight or with passion, whatever that it is, don't, you know, we often kind of like, oh, if I hit it big, then I can go back and show people who have I have become. Then I can finally, they can be proud of me and I can flaunt my feathers and let them see like this is who I am now. Don't do that. Don't do that. Continue moving forward. Those people was out of your life for something, for a kind, for a reason. You know, those people have shown themselves to you when you were at your lowest. Why now at your highest, you be like, oh, now, now I can make it uh, better for where I was lost. That is why perhaps I had to tell you about my youth, y'all. Because that is something that way, way, way back ago. You know, so really for you guys, my love, if this is something of a person or a situation, like you guys, your spiritual team is saying, let's move forward, y'all. Let's move forward. I'm, I'm going to give you guys this. So yeah, let me grab your dice and then we will see what more message you need to receive. Oh, that one really wanted to show itself. <laughs> so you have dot, 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 speechless. Leave them speechless, my love, speechless. Together with a, a, a letter and a seagull. I don't know if you uh, live near a beach or something. Uh, you will get a message from somebody coming in, a communication. But they don't really have something to say though. Or you don't have something to say to them. If this person was the person from the past rejecting you, you don't have nothing to say to them anymore. Have that confidence to be like, okay, thank you for your call. But, you know, especially if you guys win some money. Like I said, we don't need people from the past. It's done. They have shown themselves already. Why do we have to be like, oh, yes, yes, I remember you. Yes, I mean, no. If we have parted with you being mischievous to me, why do I have to know? Have the confidence to say no. Leave them on red. That is what it is. <laughs> Leave them on red. Fly above them, y'all. Don't, don't go down with them. Mm -mm, no. Be, be committed to the people that are with you. That are committed to you. But don't do that with people that, that, that are mischievous. We, we can be kind, but not stupid, y'all. There is some kind of a situation coming for you guys. Some of you, it will put you in the limelight. Some of you, you will get money. Some of you, you will move away somewhere greater, better than where you are at. But the thing is, I don't want you guys to lower yourself you have to fly high at this moment like really fly high leave the past behind so the next big change that's coming for you guys is that you will move away some of you will go live near a beach but whatever this is this is you flaunting your feather you choosing for yourself you um kind of like having a win after all the hard work that you have done. All the betrayal that had happened. Now that that happened. 
and we are moving forward. We are not going to go back to the past. Everybody that has this you, every partnership, is somebody coming in. Oh, I'm still in love with you. Guess what? I'm still in love with myself too. Guess we we both are in the same boat because you love me, I love me, and if I love me, that no, that means I should not love you. So goodbye. <laughs> you know, it's a past for a reason. You know, we don't have to redo that just because they see you winning. No. So your next big thing is a great movement to your greater self, to people that are dedicated to you, to your unique self, the confident self. If you look at confidence and you look at the the queen, 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 <laughs> the queen of um 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 how do you say it once then you will look at her crown it is um peacock feathers you know very proud so flaunt your feathers let them know with confidence who you are unique <laughs> that's what you are category sexy i'm the boss so do that, okay? I do hope I could have helped you guys. I just want to do a reading, a fun reading, and I didn't know what kind of a reading. So I do hope you guys liked it. So yeah, that's your reading. <laughs> I uh, will see you guys in another reading of mine. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye. <laughs>